Hey, y'all know that show Lost that comes on ABC? You know, you always talking about uh, 24. I, I know Queen Rundy, you always mention about that show 24. And, uh, you know, Jack Bauer, Federal Agents, and how they stereotype Arabs, and that's what most Americans think about Arabs. Well, what about Lost? I just thought I might bring that to your attention. I mean, here's this character, Saeed. And Saeed's cool, don't get me wrong. They don't do him bad on there or whatever. He's, he's got a great loving heart. But he just happens to be like, you know, he can't be this, um, you know, like this regular, normal Arab guy that just happened to be on this plane, you know, or a doctor or a PhD or something like that. He has to be a former Republican guard, uh, interrogator, uh, slash torturer. See what I'm saying, you know? And now that now that he's back, now that he's gotten off the island, if you keep up with the show, he's kind of moved ahead a little bit, you know, they're like in the future. And here's Saeed. He's all teamed up with like the head dude from the island and he's like his hitman because uh, the other dude went and whacked his wife in, um, in Tikrit, Iraq, right? But like I say, he can't just be a regular guy. He's got to be former Republican guard interrogator. So uh, anyway, I just thought well, I might bring that to y'all's attention about Saeed, Republican uh, guard uh, interrogator, torturer. You know, like I say, he's reformed now. I like his character. His character's a real cool guy. He, he, in the show, when he was with Saddam, when he was in the fucking guard, he, he, he was uh, interrogating this girl and end up like he recognized her or something. He knew her from childhood and they had been in love or whatever and they fell deeply in love or whatever. So instead of, instead of interrogating her and, and whatnot, like, like they wanted him to do the, the, the higher ups, dumb or whatever, you know, over in Iraq, he, he shot himself and, 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 and let her go, you know, whatever. Now he's been trying to find her all these years or whatever and then when he found her, then somebody murdered her. It's all dramatic kind of complicated or whatever, but it's just one more, one more stereotype. I was just trying to think of one Arab in a, in a, uh, movie or a TV show that, uh, they don't portray to, you know, be the suicide bomber or ex-Special Forces Republican Guard, uh, interrogator, torture or whatever, but, uh, anyway, I was just sitting here thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. I've been trying to put some thought into this and what I can do to uh, bridge the gap, you know, here and uh, let everybody know, uh, you know, uh, Assalamu Alaikum, you know, Inshallah. So, uh, I don't know. I just hope everybody's doing good over in uh, the Middle East and, uh, you know, uh, I just like to apologize that, you know, a lot of people say bad things about Arab people or whatever, but, but I ain't one of them. I think Arab people are cool. Inshallah, Kefalik, Mahaba. So, uh, anyway, that's all. I hope y'all post this. So, uh, anyway, maybe, maybe everybody will see this and realize that, you know, everything's cool. Put all the fighting, pack up and go home. Sit down, have dinner together, be civil. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm out of here. I guess my salama, my salama, uh, my salama. Take care. Y'all have a nice day. And pray for the people over in China when they had earthquake. All right. Anyways, that's all I got. I'm gonna go back and make some more boring blogs on uh, YouTube. See you later. Bye-bye.